Okay, we're still on this topic of the behavior of rational functions. And in this, in this next example, we're going to talk about asymptotes that are not linear. We've looked at vertical asymptotes and horizontal asymptotes and slant asymptotes, all of which are lines, but the, the, the asymptote doesn't have to be a line. We can have a graph that is asymptotic to a nonlinear function, and that's what we see here x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1. And take note real quick of the x to the fourth in the numerator and x squared in the denominator. Now remember the fraction bar means divide, so let's actually set this up and do this division. So to set up the polynomial long division we need x to the fourth plus 0x cubed, don't forget the zero coefficients, minus 4x squared plus 0x plus 1 and that will be divided by x squared minus 1 and here we go how many times does x squared go into x to the fourth well x squared so we multiply x squared by this and write the result down here so x squared times x squared is x to the fourth and x squared minus 1 is minus x squared and I'll write it over here so the x squared terms are lined up. I subtract here and I get nothing. And here of course is nothing because that's a zero. And here I have negative 4x squared minus negative x squared. So that gives me a negative 3x squared. Be careful those negative signs right there are tricky. And then I bring down this plus 1 over here. Now I look at these terms again. How many times does x squared go into this? And that's pretty easy. It's minus 3. So I just put a minus 3 up here. Now I multiply this by that and write the result down here. So negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. And negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. And then I subtract. That gives me nothing. And 1 minus 3 gives me a negative 2 and I'm done. This is x squared minus 3 with a remainder of 2 and so that can be written like this equals x squared minus 3 plus negative 2 over that negative 2 over x squared minus 1 so this expression is mathematically equivalent to the original definition of the function there. And now it's easy to see what happens as x becomes huge. Remember whenever you do this long division you end up with the remainder and the degree of the remainder, well if there is a remainder, the degree of the remainder will always be less than the degree of the denominator. So as x becomes huge this term will always end up going away. We can ignore that for large values of x. And you see that if you ignore that, what you're left with is x squared minus 3. So as x becomes huge, this function behaves like x squared minus 3. So let me write that. I'll say as x gets large, f of x will be approximately equal to x squared minus 3. And the bigger x gets, the more insignificant that term becomes and the closer the value of the function gets to that. So that is actually an asymptote. The function is asymptotic to the curve x squared minus 3. And this is a really simple curve. When I, when I say that, you should picture in your head a parabola just shifted down three units. So that is an asymptote. So the, the function as x gets large is approaching this curve, either from the top or the bottom, something like that. But, um, but that, that parabola will be the asymptote. Now, what does this mean for the end behavior? Well, that's pretty easy to see. Just look at this function. You know what the parabola looks like. As x gets big, this is heading up. And as x gets big in the negative direction, this is heading up. So we can write that. We can say the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is going to be positive infinity. Okay, it's zooming up as x gets big. 
and we can also say the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x equals excuse me equals positive infinity as x gets really big in the negative direction the graph goes up toward positive infinity right there and we we don't have to actually graph the function to see that if we know that it behaves like that parabola as x gets large then this logically follows from that I think this is worth um, graphing just because a, a parabolic asymptote might be something that's new to you so let's pull up the calculator here and uh, turn it on I've got the function in there x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1 and let's graph this I've got my x and y values the window there to set for the x values to go from negative 5 to positive 5 and the y values also now that you see the graph here is pretty tall it goes off the window uh, at the top and the bottom so let's let's set the window here let's change this to negative 25 and positive 25 we'll change our scale there to 5 and let's graph that you'll see it a little bit better okay there's the function the, um, the TI-83 doesn't handle the asymptotes perfectly but there at X is positive 1 and negative 1 where the graph appears to go nearly vertical those actually are vertical asymptotes but then you also see extending left and right is the parabolic asymptote that's a curve it's a nice parabola or it's approaching that nice parabola the closer you get to uh, or, or the larger the x values get the further away from zero the x values get the closer the graph gets to that parabola